on my experience in working with Manus, which is one of the most hyped AI agents I've ever seen on X. And one of the things that I've been relentlessly pursuing is trying to find AI agents that actually work as advertised, right? Don't just work in a demo that's very simple and short and a narrow use case. And so what I'll do is I've been doing a lot of experimentation over the weekends or during off times, if you will, it's almost become a hobby to see what works and what doesn't and how much I could stretch it based on what I know the core large language models can do. And so today I am going through Manus and I'm gonna walk you through some really amazing things that they did and also give you some cautions to be careful of whenever you're using one of these new tools. So first I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna walk through exactly what I tried to do with Manus. Now, I'm not gonna do this live because it could take 15 minutes and there's a lot of lag times. I could maybe do that in the future, but I'll start off with how you prompt one of these more complex agents. And there's a couple of different ways you could do it, right? In this situation, I manually prompted it and I'll walk through the exact structure so you can mimic this for yourself, or you could use AI to help you assist and create a really specific detailed prompt that you edit and narrate on top of it. This I just did as is. One of the things I said, your goal is to perform a multi-step process in terms of finding viral content on LinkedIn deconstruct what is viral based on copy, structure, post formatting, idea, and audience, okay? So I've been able to do all of these examples in a large language model. What I've noticed is the quality gets really degraded when you try and have it done all at once. So my thought was, all right, if I could leverage a tool like Manus, which is predominantly powered by Claude Sonnet 3.7, and have it leverage the agents to ideally segment each one of these, I'm gonna get really good quality results. So this is what I asked to do, find high quality results, create analysis of virality based on copy structure, post form, adding idea and audience, and then design a template from each one so I could recreate viral content, okay? A couple of things just to highlight here. I basically always put goal in all caps because it points the AI model's attention to the overarching vision of what you have to accomplish. That's one thing. Another thing that works really well is to say, please do the following, just provide a semicolon and then give number instructions so it could systematically work in that order, almost like a process flow that you would do for an automation, all right? So here's what happened, here's the big result. Now, as we go through, it's going through, it's looking at it, and I, I was very specific. I said over 1,500 engagements in the past seven days. So I was trying to get something that was um, highly specific. Usually what I found is the more specific you get, the better off it's gonna be. So it's looking, 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 okay. Now, one of the things it said is uh, I navigated LinkedIn, but I need to sign in to ask viral content, okay? It said I can provide my credentials or I could use alternative methods. Now, what I did in this situation, I did not provide my LinkedIn credentials. Uh, one of the things that basically Manus does, and this is a, a cautionary capability to look always at the terms or conditions or use perplexity to, to filter through this, is they actually train on your data. So I didn't want to include my login credentials for LinkedIn and that. So I just said, all right, I said basically number two. So do the alternative path. As it goes through here, it starts to search through and look. And I would imagine the results would be better if I actually gave it access. I need to dig deeper on it. But like I said, the initial preliminary capabilities or identifications for security were like, hey, it's gonna train on your data. Not so good to have passwords in there. Now, the cool thing about it is it's making progress. And one of the things, like some of these people are very well respected, like Ethan Mullick, Dario Amade, who's the, the Anthropic CEO. So I love the fact that they, that man, not they included some people that were very well respected. So it started to target the ideal folks. Same thing with Fei Fei Li, who's, who's one of the top thought leaders, I should say, in terms of AI as well. So now as we continue to go through, I'm not gonna go through each one of these. The other thing is it's now going through and creating separate file structures, which I'll show you in a little bit for each one of these areas in terms of deconstructing it. All right. Now basically what it's doing is it's identifying it, it's, it's creating content templates. And the interesting thing is it designed five reusable templates, uh, which we'll get into the personal experience, the thought leadership, resource, opinion, and career transformation, okay? So what it started to do is, it, and this is what I was really impressed with, because I haven't seen this output created this way before. What it did is it identified and started to create separate documents for each one, okay? So it has an engagement criteria, estimated engagement. Let's take a look at this. You could see the cool thing is you can click on it, right? So it mentioned, mentions 
content quality singles, signals, visibility. And then it, it basically, the reason why it broke it into these buckets, because the post that it saw fit these different areas. Okay. So I thought this was really strong in terms of like understanding content creation and, and how to do this. Um, let's dig a little bit deeper and look at all the files. Okay. So it's got the key ideas, virality analysis. Let's take a quick look at that really quick. Okay. So this is like a whole in-depth research report on the virality of these different posts. I thought this was really good, right? Short paragraphs, strategic use. It talks about the ideas. So it hits on not just the formatting, but the ideation. And then like the target audience of who this is for, which is really good. And then it also goes by, like I said, the different and stack ranks, the virality. So AI tool announcements is some of the biggest insights, career development, and it kind of stack ranks them based on case studies, considerations. And then the other thing that it did is it broke down people um, based on follower account, which is pretty interesting. And like Jan LeCun is one of the well, well known thought leaders out of Meta. Casey, I'm not as familiar with her. The interesting thing too, that I didn't even notice this the first time, it identified the engagement rate for each person, which I didn't even ask it for. So Jan's got a two to four point percent. Fei Fei Li has got a pretty high one at two to five up here. And then in addition, if you look at Ethan Mullock, three to seven. So Ethan's got an awesome rate. I love his work. He does a, a, an amazing job. So that's the other example. Now let's get more into audience ideas uh, and templates. So why don't we hit templates first and see how good these are. Okay, so this is Jessica Murray's, that's a chat GPT image generation post, which is interesting. Uh, it has Aaron Levy in here, interesting. I'm not really thrilled with these templates. I mean, structurally, these make sense. And I guess these, these could be refined into prompt templates too, ideally, which is interesting. So, um, however, it's giving different people. And I think the reason for that is because I said, hey, I asked for posts of over a thousand engagements on a hundred. Because if you look at it, it did not actually have posts from those people that it mentioned. Here we go. Let's get the viral post. Yeah, it had different people that it found. And as you can see, the comments and engagement were not as high as what I was asking for. So Aaron, Aaron Levy, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing his name right, is the CEO of Box. He does great stuff. And I noticed some of these numbers are a little bit off, right? Directionally, I would say though, oh, here we go. I missed this part before. Okay. So it's got all these different areas of different people based on further research. It's got a lot of different examples that were specific by posts, but then it references all these other uh, thought leaders. Andre Karpathy too is, is identified as one of the top minds in AI and is one of the co-founders of OpenAI. He's creating his own company. So as we go through here, let me show you, and we'll finish this off. I asked for a thousand, not a hundred. Can you please revise? Okay, so it goes through and it tries to fix it. And when I looked at this, it did not do it, okay? So it basically, started to estimate, which I didn't like. So I'm thinking there could be better examples if I used effectively more, if I logged in, like I said, which I wasn't comfortable with, or maybe made the, I mean, 1500 engagements is a lot, right? So I, maybe I will try this with the, with the uh, test of the LinkedIn platform. I don't know. Um, I have to dig deeper, but as you can see, there were some areas when I tried to redo it, it missed on. And last but not least, I'm going to do this because one of the things I think this is going to be critical. And this is like a big reveal at the end that most people do not do. But I just said, hey, what would improve the quality of this output? Like, how could I have guided you better? And by the way, this is all done on a free account. So I did not pay for the upgraded account yet. And here's one of the things that it identified. So access limitations. Okay, so it keeps identifying that because I didn't have login credentials that made it difficult. That's what I thought. Clear expectations, specifying the actual links. Okay, so I would have basically given better instructions, alternative data sources. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's good advice as well. An engagement threshold. Okay. So once again, I think this is really good in terms of like understanding how agents work. And just like anything, like with automations, if you don't give it crystal clear instructions with exact step-by-step, -step, which I give it pretty specific instructions, 
However, there's gonna be limitations to the output. So I know everybody drops on X or LinkedIn. This is the most amazing product ever. And this has got some amazing qualities and it's doing things that I've never seen before. And I imagine it's gonna continue to get better and better. However, like just remember right now we're at the stage and AIs cannot read your mind always. So the better you do with that, the better your results. All right, hope this was helpful for you as is kind of a, a different like unfiltered, unedited walkthrough, but wanted to share it with you so you could have a complete breakdown of the pluses and minus manus, as well as other agents as they arrive in real time. We'll see you.